After he had formed men out of the clay of Panopeus, and they had received the breath of life from Zeus, Prometheus set to work to make them something more than mere living images of the gods. For man, as first created, was little better than the beasts, a poor creature who did not know how to think, or how to use the things which he saw and felt round about him. He lived in caves, ate herbs and raw meat, and when he was wounded or ill, he died because he knew nothing of medicine or surgery. But Prometheus, the good and kind, taught men all the arts and crafts of life. He taught them how to build houses and make tools, how to plow the earth and sow the corn, how to weep it when it had grown, to thresh out the bright grains and grind them between flat stones. He showed them how to catch and tame some of the wild creatures, the dog to guard their houses and go hunting with them, the horse to draw their chariots and the ox to pull the plough, the sheep to yield wool and the goats milk which might be made into cheese. It is said that Prometheus also gave men the power of speech, taught them the names of all things, and even how to write and read. But it was slow work, since fire, the greatest aid, was missing. Without it, meat must still be eaten raw, and tools could be made only of stone. Bread could not be baked, and the house could not be warmed in winter. Prometheus looked up at the sun, coursing across the sky in the golden chariot which Helios drove, and he sighed deeply, for he could read the future, and though much of it remained dark to him, what he could see he knew would surely happen. Then he called to him his brother Epimetheus, who was as foolish thoughtless and improvident as he was wise, thoughtful and foresighted. 